I'm gonna go over the oxygen system with this when we come in in the morning when you know what tank to open we use a tag system so the tag says empty in use and full so whichever tag says it's in use you're going to open that one they turn counterclockwise to open and clockwise to close they also have on the top of them little arrows that say this way for closed that way for open so you'll open it same with nitrous so you open that one nitrous tanks are blue oxygen tanks are green so once they're open then you'll go to the front and hit your button so there is our button up here so this says gas slash off silence is for if the tanks are going off so you're gonna touch it and then you're gonna give it a minute it takes a second to come on so now this is saying that our tanks are on so we'll go back to our tanks so when we look at our system back here we have this system so whichever light is on shows also which tank you're going to be pulling from so if we didn't have these tags here then this system here would show us but we always use the tags um, we also have extra tags up on top of here in case the delivery people do not give them to us so this being on shows that this is the tank that we will be using if the gauges that are on here if they are in or close to the refill area we will open this second tank so that way when we're in surgery and we're using oxygen it'll be slowly dropping but we don't want it to completely run out so we'll open this one and then if this tank goes empty in the middle of surgery it'll automatically switch to pulling from this tank but you have to have it open so if you don't then someone from the front is going to come back and say hey the tank um it's having a low alarm and you'll see your oxygen numbers on the manifold in the room are also dropping because it won't have any more oxygen to be pulling out so if it's low always make sure you open your second tank and same for nitrous um oxygen will slowly drop where nitrous will stay right now it's a full tank it is in the uh, i'd say seven eight hundred um pounds of pressure area but um with nitrous it doesn't slowly drop it'll drop to it'll stay full um or around 400 and then it'll plummet so it's always important to keep an eye on that and make sure that if you do think it's low to open it and like i said if you don't then somebody from the front will come back and say that the alarms are going off so then you'll come in here um i mentioned in the suction video to always remember that when you come in in the morning your suctions have to be on for these tanks to work so if you go into the room and you turn the oxygen on and it's not working you need to one make sure that button is on that we just hit up front but also that your suctions are on because those um with the nitrous we need a scavenging system which sucks out the extra nitrous from the room and that uses the suctions so if you don't have the suction system on then your tanks aren't going to work it's just a safety feature that we have whenever the tank is flipped to empty if this one is empty we will write on the tag that it was ordered the date that it was ordered and who ordered it you'll put your initials so if you see an empty tag whenever you're turning on the tanks and it doesn't say that somebody ordered a tag you are responsible for making sure that gets done whether you do it yourself or you are making sure that somebody else is doing it and you're standing there with them as they do it um, because if you open the tanks, you're going to be the one initialing the daily checklist. And if we come to the tanks at the end of the day and they're empty and you were the one who opened them, 
then we're going to be wondering why you opened them in the morning and saw they were open and didn't notify somebody. So be sure that if you see a tag and it's on empty and it doesn't have writing on here, that somebody is informed or that you yourself are ordering that tank. We always want to be sure of that because we can't do surgery without it. Um, these buttons up here, if they start to blink, then that means the tank is empty. So if you see that, then make sure that you're checking. I personally, um, every once in a while when I turn the tanks on, will also just open this second tank, make sure it's full, and then I'll close it back just because I get nervous that one day <laughs> this other tank will, you know, be empty and I won't know it or something. So I just always check. Um, but when they deliver the tanks, what they're supposed to do is hit this little button here. So you'll hit and you hear that little clicking noise. There we go. So it resets. Um, so if that one was blinking when they deliver the tank and they give us a new tank. What they're supposed to do is hit that button and reset the system to show that that tank's no longer empty, but sometimes they forget to do it. So if you get a tank delivery or if you see that light blinking and you see, nope, the tank is actually full, just hit that button so we can reset the system. And then let's say that we have a situation, um, our dial here will show us our pressure level so we want it to be in the green when it goes low that's what triggers the tank to switch over to the full tank and if it's high a lot of the times what that means is these are called regulators so they regulate the pressure that's coming out so if this regulator has internal pieces you have to think it's used to constantly being under pressure so these pieces inside of here can fail so if you are having a tank that says it's high, majority of the time what's happening is this regulator is failing and it can't control the pressure that's coming out. So, or let's say we've had times before where this tank is empty and this tank is full. Um, and when it goes to switch over, it gets that low alarm. When it goes to switch over for some reason, it won't pick up this tank so it just keeps switching back and forth bouncing back and forth and it can't find a tank so what you do in that case is you turn your tanks off make sure they're off and then there's a little wrench down in the box um you might not be strong enough to do it you may have to get the doctors um like this one for instance i don't think i'll be able to do nope can't do it um but you'll unscrew these and then you'll swap these regulators on the tank. So unscrew here, unscrew here, and then switch them. Because if this regulator was working on this tank, we at least know this regulator is picking up a tank. So just take this regulator and put it onto this tank. Um, your light system will then be swapped. So how it says right now, you're pulling from tank two and you're on this tank. It would still say you're pulling from tank two because it goes based off of your, your regulator. Um, so really you would be using this tank, but you, you're using this line, which is for line two. Um, so your, your light will at least be backwards, but then we need to call Dalco, which is our, um, repair people for the tanks. So then we were also request, um, you know, them to come out. As soon as possible and you really want to be careful to then be watching the oxygen level of your tank because at that point you only have one tank and then since um the one is empty you also want to be calling for a refill and then we can go into the rooms here so in chantilly we have oh goodness we have a little bit of a different um setup but the principle is the same. Um, the manifold here is a little bit different, but otherwise um, it's about the same. So here ours is digital. So you'll flip this on um, the system. Is, there we go. Um, so we don't have the suctions on, so you can hear that it's silent. So it has a number, but we don't hear oxygen coming out. So that's what's gonna happen if you don't turn your suctions on. So what you should hear is you'll hear air flowing, but um, that'll be our oxygen. And then this is our nitrous. So the other thing you'll notice, a fail safe that we have is if the oxygen gets below a safe 
um, delivery level in combination with the nitrous, it will shut off. And we can't hear it right now because um, the suctions are off. But if the nitrous is not given with at least 30% oxygen, then it will shut off as well. So that's another safety feature that we have. So our, we have an oxygen flush button here. This just gives a big flush of oxygen and um, we wanna make sure to turn it off and that our knobs are down whenever we're done. Chantilly has a, it's like a ball floating system with numbers and it'll show you, you'll turn and the ball will float. And if you're giving six liters of oxygen, then it'll be at the number six. And then let's go down here. So in here, these are our oxygen delivery systems. So you'll have a bag that will fill and then you have your lines here. Your, your nasal hood will connect to this. And then on the side of here, um, you can kind of see, so there's a little black ball. Whenever the oxygen is running, that black ball will float and there's a little green square that's in there. So this knob back here, you'll turn that and that will adjust the suction rate of which it's sucking out that nitrous. Um, and that will be on regardless. So that's the scavenging system. So you want that black ball to be floating in that green square area whenever you have this system on. The other important thing to double check is that whenever you are using your oxygen system that all your lines are connected because it's not uncommon for these to come out and it be hanging on the floor. Um, so always double check that you know your lines are connected and everything is together how it's supposed to be. And then at the end of the day, you'll sign off, you'll close all the tanks and you'll turn the system off. If for some reason you were to forget and not turn that main button off in the front of the office, when we come in in the morning, it's gonna sound like somebody broke into our office because you're gonna be he hearing an alarm go off. And with Lansdowne, we have the security system for ADT. So that has an alarm. So you're kind of scared to go into the office in the morning because you hear these alarms going off and you think maybe there's possibly an intruder. So it's very important that we turn that button off because if not, after I want to say it's 12 hours, the whole system alarm will start to go off. So just because the button's off, we still need to close the tanks. And same thing, if the tanks are closed, that button still has to be turned off or if there's alarms. And then we just close the tanks so that way nothing um, happens to where they're leaking um, because we're paying for the oxygen and we need it so we don't want it to be leaking out.